Hi everyone, thanks again for joining me for this week's Soulmate Oracle Reading. Now for those of you who are just tuning in, I'm Anne Elizabeth and I give general readings focusing on divine soulmates, that includes um, all love relationships with spirituality, um, twin flames, twin rays, karmic connections, past life relationships, and I give these readings on a weekly basis here on YouTube and also on um, Facebook. So um, there may be some messages here for you um, if you've landed on here randomly um, or if you're just um, a subscriber thank you very much um, it's basically messages coming from the divine not from me I'm just like the messenger carrying on these messages giving them to you so that you can use for your highest good nobody's going to tell you what to do no one's going to tell you how to run um, your life and and no one should do that so these basically take what resonates with you and um, leave what doesn't and I always say to revisit this um, video if you're not getting the messages completely or if it's not being very clear because sometimes we do have ego-based energy that prevents us from um, really like accepting the readings um, the way we should so you always should have a clear mind whenever you're getting a reading or listening to a reading video because there is messages trust me and it doesn't have to happen on reading videos signs and messages come from everywhere and even through dreams so um, this week I'm going to be using the magical messages from the fairies oracle cards by Doreen Virtue one of my favorite decks so let's get on with the reading whoops <laughs> the first card walk away okay and as you can see it's a, a butterfly or a fairy it's actually a fairy um, she's looking into the she's looking into the world and looking at how she needs to change things she's looking at things that maybe not do not serve a purpose in her life or maybe she just needs to leave an unhealthy situation as the card says on the bottom leave the unhealthy situation and enjoy the new doors that open as a result okay now for several weeks the divine masculine has been going through a very difficult transition and i don't mean that the divine masculine isn't focused enough um, or the divine masculine isn't awakened yet or hasn't been opening themselves but actually letting go and this card is saying that there's a lot happening with walking away and it doesn't necessarily mean that you're walking away from a specific relationship or it can be but it is something that you've been troubled by something that the divine masculine knows with ego based energies that the divine masculine usually carries on with um, that it's time to just re-examine things and maybe it's not so much of a person maybe it's a, a situation that you're holding on to um, many times we don't realize why we hold on to um, I'm not saying it's toxic energy but more of like energies that are really like taking us to a next level that we normally never go to and it's triggering us and I see that a lot lately especially now um, as we're coming into this month of November and this month of November is is going to be a fabulous month you always say you know we always we always put that positive affirmation out to the to the month of um, you know gratitude basically and that's the way that's what basically we're looking at with November November to be a month of just giving and letting go and and walking away because we're coming now to a new day a new a new time a new year is going to be rolling in um, holidays are right around the corner and we could be still holding on to something you may be finding yourself holding on to something that is keeping you in a stagnant area that you can't see the new beginning the new door wants to open for you. The do, new door is, is there for you. Maybe this person that you're with, maybe they're not seeing things for what they are. And maybe you need to not walk away, but let them know that it's time for them to walk away from something. Maybe it's time to just be open with that person so that they can open up that new door. Whatever the case is, you have to really examine what it is that is in your heart and walk away from it. Walk away from maybe an anger feeling. Maybe there's someone that is giving you so much anger and you're holding on to it and you know what you're not seeing the light of that relationship because you're holding on to something from way back when and you're kind of like bringing it into today and when you bring it into today you're actually putting that energy right around that person and that person may have not done anything to you um, it happens all the time 
And it's just something that you need to walk away from. Walk away from the energy. Divine Masculine wants to walk away. Understand the Divine Masculine is a part of you. It's a part of your, your, your partner. It's a part of everyone. We all have the Divine Masculine and Feminine equally in our, inside of us, but sometimes we lean more towards that area. So really examine what you're doing right now before you make any kind of call, any kind of decision. It's really time to just... Um, just open that door. See what that door is telling you. Okay, so let's go to the next card. Emotional healing. And as you can see, this fairy has got something around her. And yes, she has beautiful little butterflies and um, a green stone in the center of her heart chakra. But she also has light. She also has beauty. She also knows that this all transforms from whatever she's been into, whatever she went through, because the, the, the tree of life is growing above her. And as it says in the card, as your heart heals of old emotional pain, you receive new blessings and love. And, you know, as I was saying with this previous card, it really blends in very well because maybe it's not just walking away from a stagnant relationship. Maybe it's healing from one, healing and letting go. And that necessarily, that doesn't necessarily mean that you have to give them another chance or you have to just be more open with them, but more of like you need to let go of something that is holding you back and choose which direction you're taking. A lot of times when we're not in the love relationship that we want, I mean, ideally, sometimes we want what that person has or what we see and you know what we see on TV and what we see in the movies guess what whatever is painted on the outside it's wrong it's not what you see on the surface because the surface never really reveals everything remember don't judge a book by its cover now there is always pros and cons with everything everything remember negative and positive that's why we have to go with our gut we have to do what we want to do that's why I always say do the things that you feel that the desire for, not so much what you are programmed to do. So if you're looking for that one particular partner, that soulmate, that twin flame, that divine partner, I should say, because we never should be looking for a specific type. And that's like something that a lot of people do. Unfortunately, it's not a good thing because you're just set on one, one, one specific soulmate. That's a whole other topic that I will get into when we do our live. Um, which I will be doing very soon, um, and I will announce it later. But for now, it's about emotionally healing from the excess negative energies that may have been latched onto you. Sometimes we forget. Yeah, the mind forgets and says, you know what, I'm healed, I'm good, I'm done, you know, I'm, I'm reju rejuvenated, I'm positive. Yes, and it happens to me, believe it, I, I do get this as well. So I'm not just telling you as... A spiritualist that you need to do what I'm doing because I'm still working alongside with you guys seriously it's a work in progress because we are all here together we all are the same we all have issues differently we all have different situations we all are going through our own stuff and we are all unique and individuals but we all have the same kind of like soul in a sense because we all come from the same soul source up above. And you have to remember that if you're emotionally healing from something, you are going to continue to heal from it for, for every day of your life because you are letting go, letting go. And anything can trigger you. So remember, don't allow the negative energies into your, your circle. When I say that, I don't mean like you're with someone that is very negative because sometimes you're actually inviting something because you're expecting something negative to happen when you're with that person you're on edge you feel like that person is going to say something negative to you or you're just looking at them and saying yeah it figures they're like this and maybe they've done this before you know that that attitude is being picked up because maybe when you first two were together it wasn't like that you were like oh, i really want to get to know this person i really want to know who she is and or who he is and I really want to find what it is about that person that triggers me to be with that person it's like you want to get to know that person and then along the lines the along the way I should say it started to spiral down because you started picking up something from a previous situation that had nothing to do with this one and it started to bring you down your spirit this happens to a lot of us and divine masculine has to let go of it it's time to release and surrender and walk away from all of that excess baggage. Baggage can prevent you from being with the person of your dreams, seriously. Because if you're throwing off vibes, like 
I don't want to be with someone that is going to treat me so wrong and be so bad with me. And obviously nobody does. You're throwing this vibe out like, I'm going to expect that you are going to do this to me and I'm going to, I'm going to just like do away with this relationship. Automatically, that person is picking up like, you already have this negative vibe. So remember, whatever you put out there, maybe it's, maybe I'm being a little extreme, but I'm just saying that you should never put so much emphasis on what your expectations are at the very, very beginning. Because for one, it's more about getting out there and dating and, and just getting to know people, getting to know someone. Two, it's about letting that person shine and let that person shine with you so that you both can get to know each other so that it can empower a beautiful relationship. It doesn't happen overnight. And what it happens is that if you keep waiting for that, you're going to find yourself like waiting and waiting and waiting. Just let nature take its course as you emotionally heal from it, okay? So I felt a lot of messages and I hope it resonated with you because there was many things that were coming up that I just had to bring out. So um, this reading, I, like I said, is, is filled with messages. So take what resonates with you. Okay, and the next card, be yourself. There we go, unicorns again. And as you can see, this woman is on this beautiful unicorn and they're flying to the light because being yourself is flying to the light. Now, I love unicorns and as many of you know who me, know me on social media, unicorns are always being displayed in my morning posts, in my, um, in my um, card re reading videos um, that I post a daily or every other day. I try to get them as often as I can, but basically it's all about the light that shines within you. Um, just recently I had a beautiful unicorn cake. So everything is a unicorn because it makes me smile and I hope it makes you smile too. So as it says on this card, the situation calls for you to be your authentic self, which is the basis for your personal power. And that is so true. Now, yes, you may feel that we are all alike because we all want to go and shine to the light. Like, like I said, and yes, Maybe some of us do believe in unicorns and maybe some of us say they're very magical and maybe they did exist or maybe they exist in a, another realm. However it is, it is still a unicorn. It exists in this card, okay? And it exists in whatever you have that is a unicorn because you are yourself. Being yourself is your own, how can I say, guidance. Because if you're trying to be something that you're not, the divine feminine has been like putting this mask up that she doesn't see too much light because She's really living in a life where she's, she's sheltered and she's not getting the love that she should be getting because she's having expectations about the way things are meant to be. Don't do that to yourself. Always remember that being yourself is all about, you know, if, it is, if it's you and you find that maybe some people are going to be uncomfortable with it, maybe some people are going to not really understand what you're, what you're trying to say, don't worry about it. Be yourself because you know what? Those people want to be themselves because they're throwing the energy of you can't be yourself because it's just it's improper or it's just not the way the way it's supposed to be in the workplace or, you know, in the social gathering circle. OK, no, you be yourself because that's who you are. And if it means that some people just can't get it, it's only for the fact because they're not themselves and it's contagious. You know, I always say if a person is themselves and if they're expressing who they are, it's magical because we see that very rarely. People are not really who they are, you know, and when you see somebody who is shining, who is funny, who is just, just wonderful, you say, wow, I love that. I want to be like that person. I want to be like him or her. And that is just great. I mean, we see that everywhere and I try my best to, to explore myself in many different ways so that I can be my authentic self. I want to shine my authentic self as well. So I try to encourage you to do the same because being your authentic self, sometimes the divine feminine will get insecure and the divine feminine will say, well, maybe it's not right. And, and it happens to all of us. It'll happen to me. And when you're like this, you're actually holding back on what love that you have, that you have in your life. This is why that person that you're with maybe doesn't see you for who you are because they saw you at the beginning, but though they don't see you today, it's time to be yourself. It's time to not be so 
caught up from what happened previously in your relationship. Sometimes when you're going through a very difficult challenge in a relationship, and I see this a lot during the Venus retrograde, which by the way is about over, maybe a little shadow phase coming through, but it's it's definitely tapering down. And we've seen this a lot, a lot in October and September. It was just an enormous amount of deep purging for a lot of people, a deep emotional attachments that needed to be released because they've been held on to and a lot of negativity that was there, but though they didn't realize it. And I'm, and this goes for myself as well. So just letting you know that we all go through it, you know, and the more Venus you have in your chart, the more you're going to find that it, it affected you the most. And, you know, for a lot of people who have Taurus ascending, rising sign like myself, I felt it, you know, because that's where it comes from. It comes from from what what's in you and it targets the planetary influence of what, you know, signifies about you. So this is why you have to be yourself and don't care about what is pulling you apart, but more of like grabbing hold of who you are because you are beautiful, you are amazing, and you are the most wonderful person you have to just say it out loud. Say it out loud with me. Say how beautiful you are. Say it. I'm beautiful. I'm amazing. I am wonderful. I am in, I'm enlightened. You have to continue to say these things on a daily basis. And I don't mean it just saying it to yourself in a little corner, but no, say it out loud. And if people are around you, you tell them they are amazing because they are amazing. That's why I have to say, um, many times we don't, we don't think too much of our self-worth. We don't think of ourselves to be that amazing. Maybe we're saying, I'm not amazing like this person, or I'm not as wonderful as this person. Why not? Yes, you are. The reason why you feel this way is because you're looking at yourself in a downward area. And, and that happens because when we go through life, we get, we, we accumulate a lot of stuff. Okay. So that's another topic that I'm not going to go into, but divine feminine knows that she needs to start shining and she needs to start riding the unicorn and going to the light. Trust me, this is a beautiful card for you. And I know you, you, you need to, you need to shine and you need to pay attention to it. Okay. So let's go to the last card. Let go. Lots of releasing and lots of letting go. And as you can see, this this young little girl, if I can clear it up. Sometimes it clears for me. Sometimes it doesn't. There we go. Like this hand instead, my left hand. Okay. Um, this young little girl with this American Robin, um, very beautiful American Robin. I have a family of them in my backyard. Love them. Um, she's looking as she is, this, this young fairy is looking as I need to let go of something. And the Robin is kind of like saying the same thing, but letting her know that she needs to let go. As you surrender the need to control, your relaxed energy rapidly attracts your desires. And you know what? As many times we, we just hold on to stuff. And I, kn I know that probably happens to you because it happens to me. We, we are sentimental. We hold on to things. We say, well, I can't release that. I can't let go of that. Um, I'm talking about material items. Well, the same thing goes with our mentality. Um, that's who I am. And... I'm going to stand my grounds because I have pride and I value my self-worth and yes, but there's a time to just be yourself by releasing it because deep down, you know, that's not who you truly are. Maybe you were programmed early on that that was appropriate for you to be a certain way to a person. Um, never let anybody treat you bad, obviously. Never let a person put you down. Obviously, this is what I always say, but when you're feeling like you need to let go, maybe it's a time to just release something about what you're holding on to. Sometimes it's good to just walk away, not, not walk away from the situation so much, but walk away from the energies that pull you down. Speak up for yourself. If that person pulls you down and says things to you, it's time to speak up. It's time to just shine the light to be yourself. Now, I'm not saying to go and be um, this person that's just going to tell this person off, but more of like being yourself and saying, you know, I'm defending me because obviously if you have a best friend, okay, and you know what, that best friend is hurting because that person said something very negatively and you are trying to stick up or trying to help your best friend because that person is hurting that person you would stick up and you would say, don't say this, or to a family member even, don't say this, you're hurting that person. Well, the same thing goes for yourself. It's more of like just defending who you are because that will automatically help you to heal, help you to let go, 
help you to release whatever it is in order to for you to maybe show a light to that person that they can't do this because a lot of times people are just messed up that they 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 tend to, to go on to pride and anger and ego and everybody has the same issues that they can be dealing with and though they're punching each other with the same exact issue it's like why do this when everybody is so much alike um yeah everybody is into you know unique obviously yes but we all have the same thing we all want love we all want light we all want to just be happy deep down that's that's where where it takes us it's the stuff that's on top it's the covering that's on top it's the it's the mask that's on top because a lot of people are not their authentic self you're seeing something on the outside maybe that coworker is giving you such a hard time um dom trying to dominate the situation though you both are you know equals in the workplace you're trying to be nice but you're getting very upset inside that you're holding back you know what it's time to let go let go so that you can understand that so they can understand and you can understand that it's time for things to be more even in a pattern sense because that's who you are being yourself to heal from you're never going to allow yourself to heal if you're letting one little thing slide let the little thing slide another little thing could be your mother-in-law could be your father-in-law could be your sister-in-law could be your sister could be your mom could be your dad is you really want to dig deep and say you know what i'm going to say it with love and i'm just going to defend myself but in a way where they can see that they're doing wrong to themselves by doing this kind of like you want to be the light now when i say about being the light it's about giving the light showing the light and just shining the light okay so i hope that this reading um video resonated with you because in many ways it resonated with me i said there was a lot of messages coming through um that i just picked up and i was like you know this is something that is very very strong something very deep somebody needs to hear this um i can be sometimes a little firm and i, I apologize if i'm if i'm being firm with you but this is this is the way i speak because i get excited i get more passionate what i'm what i'm saying because i can feel it so much in my in my gut from my guides um so if you would like to get your own personal reading i do offer phone chat and email readings and the links are down below in um the description area so you can um look through my blogs also um i do have uh, many articles about it's explaining about soulmates twin flames and all divine um partners um and if you're subscribed to me um i just want to say thank you thank you thank you i give so much gratitude the month of this month of november is a month of gratitude and giving love and and just being you know who you are like i said being yourself i know this is going to be a great month for you and and me and all of us so let's all just empower ourselves and just think think positive because everything is positive if we attract it okay so whatever's going on on the outside try to focus on what's happening with you on the inside to empower yourself to a deeper level okay um and if um you would like to if you have any questions you can just post them down in the comments area um like i said before i try to my best to get to them as quickly as possible sometimes it's a little bit difficult um and i just want to thank you guys all for the birthday wishes real quick um last week was my birthday and it was it went wonderful if if Many of you are watching me on social media. Um I do try to post like little events that I have and I had this beautiful little unicorn cake and my husband, my daughter, my family all surprised me with it. It is just beautiful. Um also if you'd like to follow me on social media, I like to connect with you guys. Um it's it's a lot of fun. That's what I love about social media. Um so like um I think that's it for now. Oh, one more last thing I have to say. Kisses is doing great. Um she's still being regulated on her um her current medicine right now. Um she is um a diabetic and she's um 12 years old. She's 12 years old today actually. So we are trying to manage her diabetes. She was just diagnosed um about a month ago. Um if, so for those of you that are not aware, um she's doing great. She's been a, you know, she's been really active and she's been really playful. So she's taking it really well. Okay, so I think that's it. So until next time, love and light to you all. God bless you. Namaste.